First off, uh, Luke Jokel, third year. What are you seeing out of Luke? Well, I see, I see great progress. I really do, and and not just out of him, but at everyone. But you know, he's put on some um, extra weight, which has been good weight, uh, some lean muscle mass. Um, obviously, it's a challenge for all of us learning a new system. But uh, I see him progressing and getting better each day. So, you know, I'm excited with the direction that he's going. Um, again, I, I think he feels the same way. You know, there's a confidence that you see out there. Um, you know, there's still a level of inconsistency, but, you know, we understand that right now. But, again, it's, it's progressing in the right direction. Uh, Jeremy Parnell hadn't started a lot of games. Right. Um, what did you see in that tape to say he's worth uh, you know, giving a shot? Well, you know, not, not to be repetitive, you know, it, it's different. You know, each player has different things that we're working on. You know, Jeremy obviously had a lot of success in the short period of time that he did play. Uh, a lot of times with that is, is getting back in, developing that consistency. Um, he brings a, a, a good level because even though he's not ha have had a lot of games that he's played, um, he's been around a veteran team. Uh, he's been around uh, a team that, uh, you know, played well together up front with the mentality of, you know, being tough and being physical. So I think he brings some of that to the room as well as everybody else. Overall, do you have a good idea of what you've got or is that training camp? You know, the challenge when you coach the line, the offensive line, is at this time of year, you know, you're really not in pads. So you can, you know, you're, what you're trying to develop is uh, how well do they take coaching, uh, how well are they doing the drills, and are you seeing those drills carry over onto the field? So that's what you're evaluating. The next thing is you really have a hard time evaluating force, you know, when the players hit each other and, they, you know, are they able to hook up and sustain so that's the thing that, that you really don't know until you get into camp, and that's what the challenge. But as far as you know, seeing their footwork, seeing them put themselves in, in the right position body-wise, that's what you're looking for in this camp. And like I said, I think we've done a nice job of that. Uh, Zane said that um, you widened Zane? Zane mm -hmm. widen his stance a little bit. Um, what was the goal there? What, run game, pass just, game? Just trying to create more power. I think a lot of times, you know, not to speak for other coaches, but when you come from you know, a team that's maybe a primarily – primarily an outside zone team. Uh, sometimes they, they, they narrow their stances a little bit so they can gain a little bit more leverage in their first step. Um, that tends to hurt you a little bit in pass pro. So uh, if you've been trained that way, we're just training to be a little bit wider to create more power. Has Zane responded? You drafted a... He's been, he's been outstanding. I mean, I've seen him. You know, a lot of times you think, hey, this is a player that's played quite a bit or has played X amount of games. Um, you know, what you see is what you get, but that has not been the case. I've seen him... Uh, uh, progress uh, rapidly, actually, um, you know, between day one and day two. And it's been, it's been a challenge. You know, it's always a learning experience, meaning that, you know, a new coach comes in, uh, the players are trying to get a feel, uh, the teaching probably different. I think that, you know, last year, obviously, you know, unfortunate what happened with George and Luke having to get thrown in there. Um, you know, they're getting used to my style and what we teach technically. Um, I'm getting used to them. And I really have seen a great... Um, really a great step forward you know these past couple of days and that's how it always is this time of year you go in there you know and every all of a sudden now you're working together you're going you know you know where you're going everyone's working like heck to get to you know the vision of what you want to be and now all of a sudden you know it's at the end of of a phase or at the end of mini camp and then you have to start all over again when when training camp comes Is there anything in particular you're looking for next week yeah, next week, because of uh, the system, the challenge of the system, you know, trying to get everyone kind of locked in on a position that they can learn and, and, and basically having another position. Hey, this is a little bit secondary right now. But one of the things in minicamp, what I like to do, I talked to Coach Olson about it, and um, again, we're going to bring it up to Coach Bradley, is during the minicamp, moving some people around just to get that flexibility so we can get the, you know, the five best players playing, uh, the seven best players you know, up for game day and knowing which way who's going to be moving inside and out. So that's that's one of the challenges that we have for this mini camp. You've got two young guards, Linder and, and Can. Uh, how are they progressing? And the Linder, I've been it's it's, it's been um, you know I, I'll be honest, I've, I've been you know surprised of, of where he is at this stage. I think he's um, ahead of the game for when you think of a first year player uh, playing. I think he's. Um, very sound technically. I think he's very tough, very strong, he's very agile. Uh, he has a lot of traits that you look for in that position. So I think, you know, when I look at him, I still have to remember that he's still a first-year player and, and lacks a little bit of that experience of playing games. 
But when he goes on the field, he doesn't seem that way. As far as AJ, again, the challenge is, is the reps, you know, trying to get him more reps because with younger players, the more reps you get them, the faster they'll progress. He's done a really good job in the classroom. Um, he's been out on that field. There's some things that are different for him uh, technically that he's done in college that he's going to have to learn to do a better job at this level. Nuski is sort of trying to do anything he can to contribute at this point since he has the shoulder yeah. issue? He's a, he's a pro, meaning that as far as in the classroom, uh, he's studying everything he possibly can. Uh, the limited amount of work that he can do, he's obviously going out of his way to do a maximum amount of, of that work on the field. Um, so from that standpoint, it's good. But, you know, you really can't tell until he comes back. And, you know, Boenko is really – he's another guy, a guy that's really improved from – from day one, and I would say probably Monday's practice, you saw a bigger difference in his progression going the right way, you know, starting this Monday. And, you know, a lot of times you get a good feel of what when they start asking you me questions of, you know, hey, I didn't feel my hands on that or I didn't feel as strong as that. When they start talking, you know, in that sense, they're starting to come along. You know, it's starting to come along and they're starting to understand what we're looking for. So I've been happy with that. Of attention paid in the offseason to, to fixing the offensive line, upgrading it. When you watch tape of what they had done last year when you first arrived, is it, I mean, does it jump out at you? Even though you can't grade and judge these guys with no pads on, does it jump out how much deeper you guys are, how much maybe stronger you are and better that you could be? Well, I think when I came out um, and I looked at it, and again, knowing the situation with George and then Luke having to get thrown in there, and then when you look at it, you see how many young players that you have up, up there. You know, there's a little bit of price when you pay a, uh, play a bunch of young players. You know, you're going to pay a little bit of a price. But what you're hoping is to cash in. So I think my mentality was is, okay, they've gone out there. They're young football players. You know, they have some experience. They know what it's like to play on Sunday. You know, how do we capture that and cash in on it now? And I think that, you know, they have a better understanding of it. One thing about young players that have never gone out there on Sunday that played, sometimes they really don't know what that's like. Because there is a difference, even though we as coaches try to simulate practice like a game. Um, a lot of times, you know, sometimes the guy that's a second string guy looks out there and says, well, shoot, I can do that. And then when you throw him out there, he's like, ooh, now I know why I'm second string. <laughs> so, I think, so I think you see a lot of that. So I guess the way I went into it was, hey, listen, there was a lot of young guys. That you, you know, you saw the mistakes that young people make. Um, now, listen, let's make sure we build on that and not make those same mistakes. A couple more guys. Josh Wells was a guy who made a team as an undrafted guy, got a lot bigger. What have you seen from him? I like him. I, I'm, it's a little bit of challenge for me position-wise uh, for Josh because of his athletic ability. You know, you look at his athletic ability and he can really, you know, handle a lot of things across the line. Um, I'm still trying to work on, we have him at, you know, the tackle position now where his foot movement and body position is, is, is really, that's his game. He can accelerate in that. We're working on his strike, you know, the way to strike his hands. But I think he's another player that, you know, we may move a little bit inside or move inside just to see what the flexibility is and see if that's his best position. But right now we have him playing at the tackle. Well, how much have you enjoyed coaching a position? Oh, I, I love coaching, you know, so, you know, it's, it's been a great experience. I think, you know, the biggest thing that, that hits me, and, and I know you guys have probably heard this a million times, but um, I don't think make it, make it a million of one now. Really, the culture that, that Shad's created and, and Gus and Dave, I mean, it, it, it's a great environment. I mean, the players come. Um, they're, they're willing to work hard and do what you have to do. Uh, it's enjoyable to coach. Um, you know, they really, you know, we all push each other. Uh, I've worked quite a bit already with the defensive side of the ball, you know, with Todd Wash. Um, most of the time, you know, the O-line and D-line coach, it's, it's a tremendous competition, and there is between us, but, you know, we're both trying to work on getting ourselves better. So when you're in an environment like that, you have a chance to get a lot better.